COVID survivors who lose their sense of smell are desperate to get it back. That's why the Taste and Smell Clinic at Vanderbilt has been slammed. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen talked to a doctor there about smell therapy. Not being able to smell flowers, candles, and food can be upsetting. It can be um, so disturbing that, that people will get very depressed and uh, just have a lack of enjoyment in their daily activities. That's where Dr. Justin Turner at Vanderbilt Smell and Taste Clinic steps in to help COVID survivors with lingering symptoms. There's a lack of enjoyment of meals. Often there's issues with uh, nutrition because food doesn't taste as well as it used to. Um, simple things like not being able to smell when your baby has a dirty diaper. Uh, safety issues like I can't smell gas, I can't smell smoke. These are all things that when they occur, particularly if they occur suddenly, are very jarring to someone. Due to safety concerns, he advises patients to get help. To make sure that they have family members who are uh, making sure that their food is not spoiled, um, make sure that they have active and functioning smoke detectors. He says COVID long haulers without smell should sniff essential oils twice a day for 15 to 30 seconds. They don't necessarily have to be pungent um, and, and, and actually many of the smells that we utilize are, are pleasant. So it's, it's sort of flowery and resinous uh, type, type smells. In some cases, this impacts people's livelihoods, especially if you're a wine taster because you rely on your taste and smell in order to pick wines for restaurants. Dr. Turner says he's treated sommeliers across the country. Three or four in the last six months. Post-viral loss of taste and smell is not a new concept, but due to new demand created from COVID-19, the clinic is expanding its hours. The, the clinic is, is, is booked out. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.